Something's different here. I can sense it. That familiar feeling of failure that's become as constant as an old friend feels slightly distant here. It's only in this place that my eyes can finally focus, that my breath runs to catch me, that the ice that had slowly been forming around me can finally begin to thaw, and I can look up at all that's been done. And I feel a strange lightness without it as I'm led into the presence of the one who knows everything I feel and still loves it. Now with a glimmer of daybreak, it seems as if this never-ending night is finally yielding to the dawn, to the sun, the, the son of God who defeated death and darkness so that I might have light and life. This Jesus, completely human and completely God, who was so in love with a world, determined to reject him still, he entered hell for us and then left to say, it is done. This Jesus didn't make false promises. He knew what life was like down here and he didn't promise that the journey would be easy. Yet. He whispers, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He promises to be with us in the midst of all our pain, in the waiting, in the process, in the longing. His presence is constant. He is here. He is near. Can you feel it in the wind? Can you feel hope coming in? The same spirit that fills your heart. The same one that sits on the throne. The same God that knows where you start. The same one who loves you even so. He, he is, is here, here in this place, place, filling it with his presence that the human language cannot comprehend. Tongues of fire, the mighty rushing wind, these are simply our minds desperately searching this dry world for a word that can contain his almighty presence but never will. The same God who created sound finds his favorite home in our singing, holy, holy, holy is the Lord our God. God is in this place and as we look upon our Savior's face, all we can say is he is close to me. Now it's undeniable that my God was never distant, that my Father was never far. No, I know for a fact that you are in this place.